In Chad, the women say God left a gift in the mountains to make their hair grow. If the flowering plant that produces the seeds, which these women have been blending into a silky powder and applying to their hair with oils for a millennium, is a gift from God, it would only be one of the innumerable ways the Creator's abundant grace is revealed through black women's crowns of glory. There are crowns you see from afar on the heads of monarchs, and there are crowns you're born with. We wrote My Divine Natural Hair, Inspiration and Tips to Love and Care for Your Crown, because our hearts are for black women to intimately know God's love for them and to embrace their natural hair, their physical crowns, as a gift from God. Regardless of hairstyle, and especially in the wake of hair damage and hair loss, we wanted to take the spiritual crown of God's word and place it squarely on your head, dear reader, then talk shop with you. That's why our book isn't about how to achieve the perfect hairdo. It's about how God, who numbers the very hairs on our heads. Luke, chapter 12, verse 7. New Living Translation wants us to accept and love our natural coils and curls. How to Approach Reading Before beginning your reading journey through this book, pray. Pray for eyes to see your hair as God's indulgence, not a chore. Pray that your natural hair journey will be a spiritual journey as well. Pray for God to make plain how you can apply these readings both to your thoughts toward your hair and your daily hair care regimen. The stories and reflections in this book will apply to both. <laughs>